Friday with Adam McClain. It's the last practice of spring ball. The spring game's up on Saturday. You're the king of the hashtag. What are you known for? DMV to your D movement, man. Getting all the local guys that want to come here and turn this place around and make a difference. Uh, it seems to be working. I mean, we yeah. just saw uh, Ant, we had Anthony McFarlane on. We got other kids from the area. A lot of linemen following you. How are yeah. things uh, with Quince Orchard football? You still follow them? Of course, man. That's right. Qu Quince Orchard football is like my home, man. Coach Kelly and those guys up there, and the whole Quince Orchard community is amazing. I always forget, uh, never forget those guys. Um, but I stay in touch. I try to get to a couple games throughout the year when I can. But you know, we have a tight knit schedule, so. Yeah, you guys do. Rough. When you start getting in the games late last year, I mean, all the Montgomery County guys are like, hey, look, he's out there, he's out there. How did it feel to actually break through? Oh, man, it felt great. You know, to finally just get the opportunity, and, you know, especially from the injury from you know, my senior year, um, really it was a confidence booster. You know, just telling myself that, you know, I can play at this level and, and I can still do the things that I used to do. And so, uh, it was wonderful for me to get out there and finally, you know, get some learning and, and, and show what I could do. So you got some new teammates up there. They're all going to get in the game with you. The Gaddies, you got Coward. What do you make of those fellas? Oh, man, the, the, the Gaddy twins, they made a huge improvement from last year. Um, they're definitely coming along. Uh, Byron Coward, you know, I know him since high school. So he's, he's a great addition, you know, to what we got going on in the front now. He's a guy that can play the run. He's a guy that can rush the passer, get on the edge, get sacked. So and he's been doing really well this whole uh, spring. So it's really great guys coming along. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. What do you think your role is, or so far, what does your role look like for the spring game and then for the fall? Uh, just being a, just being dominant up front, you know, being that, being that rock in the middle of the defense, you know, be able to play the run you know, uh, release off and get get to the quarterback, you know, and just be an all-around team guy, help my help my teammates, you know, and just be the best defense we can be. Just contribute to doing that. Adam, how did you think last year after Jesse went down early, the team struggled a little bit to get to the quarterback in time? Has there been an emphasis on trying to keep the pressure on the position in the middle to get back to, you know, the days of when Yannick was here, you know, really getting the contact? No, definitely, definitely. We go with pass rush every single day, different moves. We go with pass rush series, um, different combinations, counter moves off the first one. Um, it's, it's really great pass rush package that we got going on. And we got guys, you know, when Jesse went down, it hurt us a lot. You know, he was kind of like, you know, our go-to guy to get to the quarterback. But like I said, we got Byron Coward now. MB Tanya is an amazing pass rusher on the interior and on the outside. So, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be fun. I think we, we, we've definitely taken care of the pass rushing thing. Um, still got ways to go, but it looks good. What was last year like for you? I think uh, the Indiana game, you made some plays. Yeah. Uh, what was last year like? Um, I think it was a learning experience. My first time kind of being out there, you know. Um, but I, I, I enjoyed it. You know, I got to see, you know, what it was like going against Michigan, going against Wisconsin, the speed of the game, and, and you know, blocking schemes and all those different type of things that you really don't get in practice. I got to get those, uh, get that feeling. So. Uh, I definitely can, can, can counter off that you know, this upcoming season. What was the Indiana game like for you? Because you did very good for you. For you. Uh, it, was, it was a special game for me. It was a special game for me. I feel like that was kind of like, you know, not necessarily coming out party, but, you know, definitely showing me what I could do. You know, just outside of left high school and stuff like that. But it was exciting for me. I was happy. And what was the journey like for you in the years prior to get to that point after you graduated high school? A little bit of, um, little bit of rough, rough uh, patch, you know, uh, at the beginning. I wasn't familiar with, with how college football was played. I was coming from pure athleticism, I didn't really understand like the game. So you know, I, I, I waited and I watched older guys like Quentin Jefferson, you know, Savon Walker, James Lopez. You know, those guys, I kind of know what I'm looking for now, being a defensive lineman, being a student of the game. So that's definitely helped me this spring and, and going to help me coming up this season.